Hey, it's Ray. This is my Melmo, and today I'm going to be showing how to download and install and set up PPSSPP for Windows. Um, I'm going to be using 9.6 because for some reason 9.7 just doesn't work. I get the splash uh, logo and it just doesn't work. Anyway, so just download it. Uh, you can try 9.7 and if it doesn't work, just skip it I guess and delete it and then go back and then just download 9.6 um, so that's where you download it you just click it and then it'll just start and it'll download a .rar file and then um, all you need to do is just extract it and it'll, that, that's the file and then um, you have everything right here that you need although I already have this stuff another folder so I'm just going to delete it okay so now that you have it downloaded you can just close this it doesn't matter um, now if you want to get a game which you probably want to uh, so I'm just going to be doing Daxter for an example so this is emuparadise.me um, it's the only place that I found where you can get a lot of ROMs and ISOs and whatnot um, so basically just go to Emu Paradise, click on PSP ISOs, and then you select whatever character the game you want, and then just, there it is, Daxter, USA. Okay, and then you go to download links, and then you just download it, um, but I'm going to cancel it once it starts. Uh, Oh, and then you gotta do the stupid CAPTCHA and then it'll let you download it um, and then once you download it you will get a dart RAR file you just extract it again with WinRAR and then you'll get this file and here's the tricky part you have to open it with WinRAR one of these files one of the ones that's all this whether they're all the same size this has been for the four games that I've for the three games that I've tried this is what you have to do double click it and then for whatever reason I don't know why you then get this and you, this is the Daxter ISO file I have mine right here that's where I got it that's how I got it it works perfectly that's what you do I did that for Little Big Planet I did that for God of War and then I just renamed it to Daxter NTSC um, anyway so now you have now you know how to get your games and you know how to download it and extract it and everything so then you go to whatever place you have it installed and here it is here's everything this is all the files that you need the readme just has like update logs or whatever and it doesn't it doesn't it's not really important um, now for some reason I can't run this version I think I need to install some whatever Windows update so I'm not gonna deal with that right now um, don't always ask because it's pointless so the splash logo is gonna come up and it'll go through now because I've already used this a little bit and put this in here uh, how you're going to find stuff is you're just going to hit this load button right here go to wherever you have, your game is and then there's Daxter uh, dot I there's the Daxter dot NT dot ISO or whatever so that's all that you have to do now I'll just loads again we're gonna go to settings now you're gonna want it on buffered rendering if you have it on anything else there's gonna be a lot of glitches um, at least with the games that I've tried um, although non buffered rendering makes it a lot quicker, there's going to be a lot of glitches. Frame skipping, turn that off unless you um, are at a really low frame rate. Um, I'm not really sure, but just leave it on. Uh, I haven't, I've only seen it lower the frame rate, and I'm not sure why. Alternate speed, um, I'm not really sure exactly what that does. Post processing shader. I just use this. Uh, it just depends on which one you want. Um, so, okay. Now, full screen. Obviously, it depends on if you want to play in full screen or not. Stretch to display. That's if I. If that's if you had like a 16 by 10 or 4 by 3 monitor. You could hit that, and then it would stretch it. Um, although I don't know if it'd be proportional or not. Mip mapping. That's just better graphics. Rendering resolution now. This is would be it looks exactly like it is the exact resolution as the PSP. Bump it up as high as you can, it'll greatly improve the performance. V-Sync, um, it's just 
for tearing. Uh, turn it on if you have tearing, which I do. Hardware transform, not sure what it does, but all of these um, have improved my performance, so use it upscale level as high as you can. Uh, just makes the textures look better. I don't know what depasteurize does. Uh, anisotropic filtering that makes it so that things that are further away will have a higher um, rendering setting, whereas if I had it anisotropic filtering off, the things further away wouldn't look as good. Texture filter, um, I'm not really sure what the differences are. Uh, just leave it on auto. And um, this one, it just depends on what you want. I just have it on uh, both. I'm going to have it on both for this tutorial. Usually I'll just have it on none. Um, and uh, yeah, there's some other things you can do for speeding up stuff, but it's all just very experimental. So under system, um, fast memory definitely on, multi-threaded. Uh, I'm going to use it just because I can, why not? There's no reason not to. Uh, if it crashes, then I don't know why. Um, controls. Now, the cool thing about this is it already has Xbox 360 um, controls in it. Um, they're all set up in like the analog sticks are even pressure sen sensitive if you set it up correctly. So I'm using DS3 tool right here and I have my PS3 controller plugged in. I'm just going to have it emulate as an Xbox 360 controller. Uh, so when I'm playing this and I hit, you know, pause, it would be the same exact, or like if I hit R would be the same thing as if I hit R1 on my controller. So it's just, if you want to use a PS3 controller, that's the way to do it. Um, there are alternatives to DS3 tool, but I just don't really care to get into that. Audio, um, it's just whatever you want, and it's not really important. Um, so now, um, you can put like tons of games in here, and they'll all just be here. I had God of War and Little Big Planet up here as well before, but I just deleted them because God of War didn't run very well and Little Big Planet had a lot of... I just didn't I just didn't enjoy it. Um, but anyway, Dexter's going to start up, as you can see, um, I have both the speed and the frame rate up in the top right. If I hold R2, it'll go at whatever the maximum frame rate it can get to. So I'm just going to hit load game. Uh, and here we are. Uh, as you can see, it looks very nice. Um, the controller works perfectly, everything's working, blah blah blah. Um, the oh, that's a, um, as you can see the pressure sensitive works. So I'm, I'm tilting it, tilting the analog stick just a little bit and I'm walking slowly. Um, and if I push it all the way then I'll go full force. If you hit L2, you'll go into this, which is the, um, where you can mess around with all the settings and stuff. You can press circle to exit it. Um, but you can go to game settings. Uh, if you have any other questions or something isn't working, just put in the comments.